sunrise. It is frozen out there today. Oh. first time I've actually spoken to you guys today. I have been filming, doing little bits of filming, but um, we've been really, really busy. So I haven't had the time to sit and have a little chat with you guys. Um, but basically this morning I um, got up, I had breakfast, um, and I started making a list of things that I need to do over the next couple of days before Christmas because um, these last few days tend to get really quite hectic. Um, obviously I'm going to be working for a few of them so that's one thing but also the 23rd of December so Christmas Eve Eve is my mum's birthday um, so I tend to need to get all of the pre-Christmas stuff done by uh, this week, like a couple of days in advance of Christmas because um, I go out for um, my mum's birthday on her birthday and then on Christmas Eve we go and see Emrys' family and then on Christmas Day we head back to my family so it tends to get a little bit busy. So I do want to do some baking over the next couple of days. I know, exciting. Um, Christmas baking. Um, I wasn't going to do a huge amount, but there are three different projects that I do want to get kind of done um, before Christmas. So I've bought all of my ingredients and everything, um, and I reckon that those projects will probably get done in the next few days. Some of them I can keep in the fridge. Um, some of them I may need to wait a little bit close to Christmas. I want to make cinnamon rolls for Christmas Day and I think I can get the majority of the prep done for um, to do on Christmas Eve. Um, it's just that in order to do that, because we'll be coming back from Oxford, I'll need to make sure that everything else that I might want to have done um, is all done before then. And then obviously as well, I'm working on my Christmas jumper, so super, super busy. But yeah, we went out to the shops, um, Emrys came and helped me, even though he's still properly under the weather, poor thing. Um, he's definitely better than he was yesterday, but he's still just not himself. Um, and I'm hoping that the kind of improvement that I see in him uh, is an indication that he's not going to be too ill over Christmas. But thank you all so much for your well wishes for him. He really appreciates that. And um, But I went and picked up lots of baking ingredients. We also got Rolly's Christmas presents and um, picked up a couple of little bits and pieces for the house. Tonight we are going to be um, watching the Royal Variety performance, which I am so excited about. And also we're going to be checking out the next episode of The League of Gentlemen because we really, really enjoyed the one last night. So yeah, that is what I'm doing. Um, before I kind of head off to get some bits and pieces done, um, I did want to share with you the lipstick that I'm wearing. Mm -mm -mm. This is the lipstick that I was wearing earlier in Vlogmas and quite a few of you were interested in what it was. And it's actually this little one, which is by NYX. It's one of their intense butter glosses and it's in the spice cake color. Um, and I really, really like it. It's very, very, goopy and hydrating and my only problem with it is is it's quite a high gloss butter obviously because it's a butter gloss um and it doesn't tend to set at all it stays pretty goopy the whole day so even when you've had it on all day as I have you will get transfer on things and if you blot it it doesn't tend to have an amazing coverage if you blot it a great deal when you apply it so I love it and I'm pretty much obsessed with this color this kind of purpley red I think it's beautiful but just for a convenience point of view, I don't tend to wear it super regularly because I don't like to get lipstick all over everything. For example, we went out to lunch and I had the most delicious winterberry hot chocolate and I just covered that cup in my lipstick. <laughs> so um, it's really, really lovely and NYX 
I believe is a cruelty free brand which makes me very happy to buy from them. Um, but yeah, it does tend to have a lot of transverse when you're using a colour that's this intense. Um, that can be problematic but yeah for those of you who are interested in my lipstick it is NYX and I do really love it and I apply it just with the applicator from here as well um, and it, it goes on really lovely so yeah little bit of lipstick chat for you um, I'm gonna check in with you guys a little bit later <laughs> okay hey Rolly there he is good boy I am just making us some dinner. If you can hear snarfing, it's because Roly is eating his dinner in the background, so apologise for the background noise. But I have a really nice selection of bits. I have tender stem broccoli. This is probably one of my favourite things in the world ever. Also have these really cute butternut squash stars, which we picked up from Tesco. Um, so we're going to be having these. And also, I wanted to show you guys these sausages. I love these as a sausage alternative. Um, basically, they're by Cauldron and they are vegan. But rather than being filled with like soy or tofu, they're actually just full of vegetables, tomato pesto and beans. Uh, and they're kind of reminiscent of chorizo. And I just, I just love them. They are really, really nice. I don't think there's actually any soy in them at all. No, they're not a meat alternative. They're literally just beans and delicious vegetables and pesto in the shape of a sausage with, with a kind of sausagey texture and they are amazing. So I'm gonna cook up all of these yummy things and um, I'm just I'm very excited. <music> dinner was officially amazing and it was like the easiest thing and it was amazing wasn't it amazing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's the affirmative to the dinner being amazing um i'm just working on my jumper look second sleeve i've done all of the short rows and i'm now just knitting on the sleeve and um getting ready to watch the royal variety show which should be on in like 10 minutes very very excited it's my little christmas tradition to watch that but i may um get up and have some snacks because you gotta have snacks if you're gonna be sitting down watching a lot of tv and this is quite a long show because it's actually a stage show yeah for those of you who don't know because i always forget that a lot of you guys are probably not in the uk you may not be aware of what the royal variety performance is it's basically what it says on the tin it's a variety show that's done every year in in London I believe or maybe it's just done around the UK I feel like it's been in London a lot recently but yeah maybe maybe I'm lying about that but that's besides the point because it was always arranged um by uh kind of like for charity um and it was always attended by the royal family so that's pretty, pretty exciting. I always remember as a kid, it was pretty cool to see the Queen go and check out the Royal Variety performance. But it's been done every year for, I think they had the 100th anniversary already. For a very long time. So it's quite an old tradition. Um, and it's, it's filmed a little bit before and then it's shown on TV. And it's kind of tradition to have all kinds of different things, hence variety. You'll get comedians, you'll get musicals, you'll get um, pop stars, you'll get um, plays, and it's just, it's just really good fun. And I very, very much enjoy it. So I'm really excited about watching it. And um, Amrus is slightly less excited. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And hopefully by the end of it, I may have another sleeve done. That would be epic.
Mara. But yeah, I must find some snacks. Veggie calling the caterpillars. These are my favorite sweets at the moment. Um, they're fruit sours. So they're kind of like tam tang fastics, but they're even better as far as I'm concerned. They're from Marks and Spencers. Check out Veggie Corn and the Caterpillars. And I also have Rich Tea Biscuits, my favorite biscuits, but to be extra naughty, chocolate spread. Now this chocolate spread is particularly awesome because it's dairy free. So if you, wow, Rolly wants the biscuits, don't worry, he can't actually get to any of them. But if you're wanting to try um, vegan or trying to go a bit dairy free, this is really, really nice. And I think I got this at Holland and Barrett and it oh, is really, really delicious. So. Sorry. <laughs> and that's the TV, because we're getting ready for the Royal Variety. Ah! Mm -hmm. It was long, and now, now, we're getting League of Gentlemen. It's a whole evening's worth of TV. Yeah.